up guys it's t here from teeny daily and today we're gonna be making some shot glasses what i know i'm so excited i have just been stretching my creative bones you guys and really dipping my toes and i want to become an expert at most any craft that i do so the only way to do that is by you know getting out there and being brave enough to try something else so we're tackling shot glasses so I got these from the dollar store. You want to keep the box that they come in because we're going to do something with that later on in the video. So don't, don't lose that. Oh, look at that. They're so cute. So cute. Okie dokie, artichoke. Before we do anything, we want to go ahead and wipe down the glasses with alcohol. That's just what I do to make sure they're super duper clean. Then we're going to take some painter's tape. All right. Voila, now we have three ready to go. All right guys, so we need to spray paint the box so that way we can get it ready for our design. First off, let's give it a nice coat of white. I'm going in with Rust-Oleum Glossy White. You're probably gonna need about two coats, maybe three, but make sure you let them dry in between coats. I'm very excited about this. I am going to use the same method that I do with my wine glasses. So I was like, how on earth am I going to get this, <laughs> this wine glass? You know, cause I've never seen this one done before. We're going to have to figure this out. This works perfectly. Eat -er, eat -er. Cause it does fit. That way we can make sure it stays. Oh, oh, oh. it's a tight fit for sure, <laughs> but it fits. Yay. We went in with our amazing quick coat epoxy and I did 10 mls of part A, 10 mls of part B. Mix that up for a total of 20 mls. Okay I ended up taping this one over here. See? You could just add some more masking tape and it'll keep it on the turner if you don't have one of these. There you go, bada bing, bada boom. We are a DIYer over here, y'all. We figure it out. <laughs> All right, so we wanna go ahead and put some epoxy and put a little bit right here, like we normally would our wine on our wine glasses, putting down a nice little base. And I'm just moving in circular motions, bringing that up. All right, let's add some blue green. Boop. Ooh, I like it. Boop. Ooh, that was a lot. <laughs> let's add some here, here. I like that. And one right in the center of there. We're gonna go in with crystal blue. And I'm going to put some in a container that is very Audrey. And now we're going to take it and we're just going to drizzle it. I am going to pour some silver in this little measuring cup here. Oh, that's party. Oh, a little bit got on there. Sorry. And now pour it in here and we're going to make some silver. that and because this is a small surface we don't want to add too much like that's basically it and then we're gonna go in with some white hood the good thing is that we wanted quite a bit of white so just make sure you mix it in really well here we have a silver and white and I'm gonna make that more marbly as well All right, so I decided I want to try add some silver little shreds here. And don't worry, it's gonna be, it's gonna make sense. Probably like, and the marble was beautiful. It really was, but I want more bling. More bling, more bling, I love the bling. And then we're gonna go in with the heat gun after all. Since we're adding these, we want them to blend in 
to the cup. I'm so excited. I'm now making stickers. I'm so excited. <laughs> so this is sticker paper. You can find it on Amazon, at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, etc. Well, let me pull this glove. And so the image is just printed out on this paper from my printer. And now we're gonna put a coat of clear gloss on it from Rust-Oleum. It's really important that you spray down the image and put a gloss over it. That way the ink doesn't bleed when you're putting epoxy in it and everything on top of it, you know? And I make sure I not only spray it horizontally, but vertically as well at an angle to make sure it gets complete coverage. So this is definitely a beautiful color. It's actually coming out more blue on the screen, on the video, but it's definitely a more teal blue. However, we want to add more variation of blue. So I'm going to grab myself some masking tape or your painter's tape, whichever you prefer. I just grabbed this first. And we're going to make some stripes here. We're going to start with the edge of the cardboard and then go all the way around. You guessed it, baby. You guessed it. We're going all the way around, honey. Da, da, da. Perfecto. And what we're doing is making stripes. We're going to spray paint them. Yes, I could use my vinyl, but why use vinyl when I could just save some and use some masking tapes and some good old spray paint? You know what I mean? Another one down. If you said we are going to take up this middle piece, you are correct, Amanda. Yoink! <laughs> and then this is going to be the part that we spray paint. And now we're going to go ahead and add this part to this one. And then again, line it up until we have our stripes going all across here. And then don't worry, I know we have this little smidge in here, but we'll figure it out. We'll make it work. Don't you worry, honey. My most favorite is colors, Ocean Mist from Mistolium. It's like this cute mint blue. So it's a perfect in-between between like the Breakfast at Tiffany blue and white. Okay, that looks freaking amazing. You can actually see how blue it is now that we're inside. This is what I wanted, yay. Okay, let's go ahead and take the tape off while it's still just barely damp. I mean, it's pretty much dry, but I like to do it before it completely dries. Just that looks awesome! It kind of reminds me of an ice cream parlor. <laughs> I like it. Also, I would like to say that my nails are just, that's paint. They're not dirty. My hands are clean. <laughs> I know, because that's just something I would think about if someone were, you know, making a product for me. Just one of those things. Okay. We want to put this right on the center of the cup. Oh my gosh, that is so freaking cute. Look at how good that looks. Look at it. I freaking love it. All right, and now I want to put... Do, 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 do. I want to put this black on the other side, the black Coco Chanel. I always like to start in the center and then push out. That way you don't get any bubbles or unevenness. Now, oh, let's focus on the box. I am so incredibly excited about the box. <laughs> if you're kind of new to this, because this is a fairly newer concept, um, especially the shot glasses, this is going to be a collectible. So that's why we're putting so much time and effort into the box. Because this is going to be something I want people to be able to collect and they can use the shot glasses or they can use it as a collector's item. Make sure we're centered here. Ah, that looks so good! 
All right, so let's tackle the top really quick. I made these really cute black bubbles with glitter. Look how cute they are. So let's make sure they're centered, center. Oh, I like that. Okay, that looks good. All right, now for Audrey's name, I made it in this beautiful, gorgeous mint, it's like satiny mint color. A, almost like a picture frame-esque type of vibe here. So I'm going to start at the very top here and pull it down straight. Now we're going to go ahead and cut. But when we cut it, do one quick slice, right? and do it as close to the actual size of the frame as possible. And then push it down. See, perfect. Now I'm gonna do the same for the other sides. You guys, look at how freaking cute that looks. Okay, now next to Audrey, I have these beautiful pearls right here and I cut them already, so I took it up here, and I'm imagining I want it to come right to the picture, and then cut off right here. So I already went ahead and cut it to size, which I think I want it right about there. I want it to come up to Audrey's picture. Right there. Now we'll move the rest of it accordingly. The other side, look at that, I love it. All right, I have some beautiful Coco Chanel stickers. Look, they're silver, but they have black in them, so when you turn them, they have this cool black vibe to them as well. And then I have some in white. First off, you know what? I want to put this little box right here. I think this would be so cute. Oh yeah, adorable. Right there. I like that. Cute. All right, but I want to add some pink to the box because we're also going to have pink on the shot glasses, remember? And I love this blue with pink roses. I think it's just perfect for what we're doing. So let's go ahead and add it to the bottom of the box. Right there. Bringing it all the way across. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Look at how freaking good that is coming together. I think I want the sunglasses to, yeah, be this direction. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and take the, the sunglasses off. And we're gonna put them right in the center underneath Audrey. Oh, I like that. I wanna go ahead and put one of these Chanel's on the bottom. So, do, 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 do. I'm thinking we do this cute little one right here, right in the center. Yes, look at that, that is cute. I think we're gonna have to add something to the bottom of the other ones as well. I really liked this washi tape that we put on the box, so I wanna do the same thing here. Not on the top though, I feel like it's a little bit too big and we might wanna put a smaller version on there. So what I'm gonna do is put it on the bottom here, but in the center like that, leaving some of the clear part at the bottom. Let's make sure it's perfectly lined up. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. You know what? 
I changed my mind. Hold on, hold on. Before we do that, we need to put the border on Audrey so we get the perfect sizing. All right, we're gonna go in with this black thin washi tape and I'm going to put it right over the white. Freaking beautiful and cute that is. Yes, okay, that's exactly what I wanted. Now we can do the washi tape because see how it adds and it changes your dimensions a little bit. Don't wanna, you don't wanna get off on the dimensions, you know what I'm saying? I have these beautiful stickers that say Chanel here, so we're gonna put that on the top. Oh, right? How cool is that? I thought that was a good idea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys tell me what movie that's from. Alrighty guys, so I decided that I do want to put epoxy over this. You definitely don't have to. Uh, because this is, you know, stick. What, if you're putting anything that's permanent on there, permanent vinyl, etc., you don't have to. But I want to over the washi tape and over these things. So I went ahead and taped the top of the uh, shot glass, just like the other ones. And then we're gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna put a layer of epoxy up to the masking tape, and then we'll take it off. All right, you know me, Miss Perfectionist over here. I felt like there wasn't enough pink because we have the flowers here and then I wanted to add the Chanel and I was like, there's not enough pink. So what did I do? I made some little tiny pink strips. I made it in baby pink and glittery pink. So I think what I want to do, yeah, I want to start with putting one on each line here. Yeah. <sighs> Ready. So we are gonna have to lift up this design. I guess it's a good thing that we didn't UV epoxy this yet. <laughs> I did UV this one and these, so they're on there. They're not gonna come up, but that's okay. Today is all right. So we're gonna take the tiniest amount of epoxy. Just like that. Like just yoink, and yoink it. And yoink it, and yoink it. Okay. And then if we spread it, I'm using a popsicle stick to make sure it's touching all the ends. Let's mosey on over here. I wanna show you guys, I'm using my counterculture. UV lamp. I'm gonna make sure everything is flush. Also double check that you can bend it because you don't want everything to, you know, be down UV solid and then, you know, you can't bend it. That would be no bueno. Okay, let's go ahead and put it on 60 seconds. I love this thing, it's so convenient. All right, we have the shot glasses back. Look at them. The glitter. I freaking love the glitter. Okay. So let's take it off the sticker paper. And I want to put it right there. Oh, that is cute. I want to put it right in there. I'm thinking right here. Yes, I like that. Where it shows enough at the bottom and at the top. Okay, that is so freaking adorable. I'm so freaking proud of them. They look beautiful. So I decided to put washi tape going from the Tiffany bottle to the other end of the Tiffany, Tiffany bottle. And then we did pink on both of the rims at the top there. 
I have like the washi tape on the bottom here. Keeping them all in the same family, but different. You know what I mean? Or, or should we? No, yeah, we'll put it right here. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. Oh, that's so pretty. Yay! So I sealed everything with the clear spray paint from Rust-Oleum and then UV resin, but made sure the box could still bend. All right, gorgeouses, and these are the finished shot glasses. I will show you them in the box in just a second, but I wanted to give them their own beautiful day. Be you, honey. So freaking beautiful. Look at that. So gorgeous. Here's Audrey. And the glitter, oh, I just love it. There's Coco Chanel. It's Chanel, oh, they came out so good. And then there's the perfume on the bottom. And then there's this one. Oh my gosh. So partyful. So partyful. I love it. And then here they are in the box. gosh it came out so good look at audrey back there she's banging honey here's the bottom oh my goodness i'm so happy with how it came out i might add a little bit of pink here i know it doesn't completely line up but anyway you guys thank you so so much for watching I truly hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Do something that makes you guys smile today. Be classy like Audrey, but fun. <laughs> you guys stay wonderful and have a gorgeous day. Bye, guys.